my next guest that has already invented a game that teaches computer coding called Storybot. Please welcome Little Code Ninja, Kadar. Hey, Kadar. Let me ask you a question. What exactly is coding? Well, like we speak English and that's how we can talk together. Well, coding is the same. It's how you talk to the computer. Well, so, okay, show us what you invented. This is StoryBot. I invented it. It's a 3D board game to teach code. Hi, I'm Kader. I was the winner in my age category for a project that I developed to reduce lawn waste and create native pollinator gardens. I created an app called Pollinator for a Pet, available on Google Play for free, where I teach you how to make your own pollinator garden in your own backyard so I can help my pollinator friends who are facing the danger of being extinct due to our poor gardening practices. Today, I would like to tell you about an exciting adventure about me. So when I was five years old, I loved to play video games, but it was really hurting my eyes. So my mom said that the Wii broke. And she said, this is not the end. You can make your own video games and learn how to code. And I want to introduce you to a young inventor who is just brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, seven-year-old Kadar Narayan. I mean, you're five years old. You're like, man, I want to make my own games. How do you jump into coding? Well, I started out by learning a program called Scratch. So you must speak, like, multiple languages. Well, I am learning JavaScript and HTML5. WFMZ's Julia Rose introduces us to a young environmentalist using technology to spread his message. Most nine-year-olds love playing with apps, but not many can say they created their own. So I don't want to touch the red ones because they're invasive plants. Nine-year-old Kadar Narayan is playing the game he designed on the app he built. It's called Pollinator for a Pet, aimed at teaching users how to create a pollinator garden. Welcome back to school, San Luis Coastal Unified School District. I heard you're innovators just like me. You know what innovators are? They make cool things to help the world called inventions. Let me tell you about some of my inventions. I made a board game to teach the visually challenged community how to code. And I created an app that teaches you how to help the planet by gardening. And you know, that's when I learned about your awesome innovation labs. They're so epic. And I heard that you're getting a My Lab box with some awesome challenges and projects. And that makes me think about learning and failure. Remember that learning is the language in which we understand the world. If we don't love to learn, then we can't get good at anything. And especially with this social distancing situation, learning is even more important than ever. So make sure that you really, really enjoy learning. And a lot of people, if you want to become an innovator, a lot of people are going to say, you're too young to be an innovator, you know, or you're not experienced enough. But here's the thing. You can never be too young to be an innovator, okay? That's just, that's just silly talk, okay? But here's the thing, you will fail. But failure isn't a bad thing. In fact, it's a stepping stone. A lot of the times when we fail, we learn new things that allow us to be successful. So as long as you really work super duper hard on what you do, you really care about it and enjoy it, and you embrace failure for the beautiful thing it is, you're gonna do some awesome things in life. If you wanna learn more about what it's like to be an innovator and ask me some questions, then make sure to log on to my Zoom call at September 9, 2020. Have a great school year.